On Saturday, February the 8th, close to 100 climbers converged on Sheffield's Foundry Climbing Centre for the Foundry Bouldering Open. Up for grabs was over £2,000 worth of prizes and prize money spread across junior, team, men and women's categories. Qualifiers were held in the morning, points scored on the basis of how few attempts it took to do the 25 problems set. Through to the finals went the top six male and female climbers. Shauna Coxey, Diane Merrick, Tom Arnold and Nathan Phillips among some of the names that got through. Ben Moon qualified third in the men's, but had to bow out of the finals, suffering from cramp. For the finals, there were four new problems each, set by Rob Napier, Ned Fihali and Percy Bishton. There's your, your standard fare for the foundry ways, very, very powerful, small edges, exactly the sort of thing you'd expect. And then uh, some technical stuff, some volumes on the Blurstone wall, so uh, they should be pretty, pretty interesting and funky and probably not the sort of thing that the Foundry regulars would be used to, I wouldn't have thought. And we've tried to make it look kind of cool and attractive, so as well as, a, as, well as interested to climb and to solve the problems, it should look pretty, pretty funky for the spectators as well, I think. It's such a cool wall, I, you know, it's been here for so long, it's like a bit of history really. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty nice to set on. It kind of it almost sets itself really. There's so many features and stuff on the wave and it's so steep, it's kind of made for, for setting hard boulder problems on, really. But there is there's also root reading, so just being brutally strong isn't gonna be, isn't gonna be the solution to at least two or three of the problems. It'll be, you have to be cunning and try and work out a, a good solution, otherwise you're gonna be in a world of hurt. Come on, Stu. Come on, Stu. I've only climbed here a few times in the past, um, but I came last weekend, sussed out where all the crucial features are. Um, so yeah, I've done pretty well in qualifying. I think I'm going to do well. Come on! It's been very smooth through the front section. Come on, Nathan. Stick with it. Got to get through a quick for that top move. Come on, Come on! Come on! Come on! Nice, you see the heels there though. Come on, Nathan. It'll be better, innit? Come on, come on, mate. Good. Come on. Good. You used to get his piece up in there. Come on. 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 Come Nathan was blown out by the opening two problems and it was only Martin Smith and Ethan Walker who managed to fight to the top of these. For the others, the early morning exertions were taking their toll. The surprise face in the women's finals was the junior competitor Gracie Martin, who snuck through in fifth from the qualifiers. Scraped into the final in fifth, pretty pleased, hopefully got something left to like, pull out in the final. Don't really have any expectations for today, trained yesterday, so we'll see how it goes, yeah. Good to get some comp practice in, ready for like the European season ahead. <laughs> Similar to the men's final, the first two problems in the women's split the field. Not shy of the steep terrain that goes straight through the foundry's wave, Diane Merrick, Michaela Tracy and Shauna Coxey found they had enough to creep their hands onto the slopey top.
You can put the show on. Welcome, girls. Welcome, girls. Welcome, girls. Welcome, girls. Shauna Coxey was climbing well and was trying to defend a 100% record after flashing all the qualifiers, in the process beating all of the men. It's pretty, pretty amazing like, to flash everything in qualification like none of the men did and that was a pretty strong men's field. Um, but you know, she's you know, one, of, like, one of the best women climbers in the world. I have a very love-hate relationship towards competitions. I definitely hate them at points a lot and don't want to be there and don't want to do them. But afterwards, I love them. So, yeah, I'm always driven to come back. I think I find it a lot easier to compete on the international scene because not many people there know you, so the pressures are a little different. Whereas here, I know everyone, and if I didn't do well, then I get a lot of banter so yeah I think it's almost scarier and more nerve-wracking to compete at home events than on the international scene. The women's comp went down to the last problem as both Diane and Michaela eased to the top of problem three. Shauna still leading on the count back. Diane succeeded in problem four too, but if Michaela could top it, she would take the lead. Michaela got the problem, next go, but it was all in vain as Shauna wrapped up an amazing performance to take first prize. Yeah, over the second time. Fantastic ever there, Shauna Coxie. Back in the men's event, Tom Arnold, top qualifier of the men, was finding the final anything but easy going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's the first final I've been in in about a decade, so it's pretty good. Really? Where you been? <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of dropped off the comp circuit for about eight years. This is my first year back in, and it's good. I spent a couple of years living in Sheffield, so it's kind of nice to be back up here, climbing at the wall again. It's good fun. There's a nice set of problems as well today. What do you reckon for the final? What are they going to, what are they going to present for the final? Something dirtily horrible, which is going to be interesting because I'm not used to final star climbs. So, uh, but it should be, should be good. Those guys tend to set wacky things. So, wacky was a good description to Stuart Littlefair's approach to problem four. If he could top it, he would secure third place. Uh, it's 
No, it's not serious. It's not serious. It's, uh, I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. <laughs> Bit of entertainment, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> you open there's a big crowd. You Does it help? Yeah, I've got um I've got a towel boy. So he's gonna be throwing me towel from my tennis days. So uh, yeah. Come on, Spin. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on, Martin. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Martin Smith. Yes. Nicely done. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come Ethan strolled up the last problem, problem four. But if Martin could match him, he would steal victory based on having taken less attempts across the four problems. Don't blow it, Martin. Not now, Keto. Yeah.